Hey, it's H Day, and today is day 10. We are one third of the way through on this 31 day devotional. This is the biggest task I've ever undertaken, so I'm very proud at the moment. All right, so on day eight and nine, we were talking about dependency on the Lord. It's okay to be weak, it's okay to need God. But you know what else is another part of fearing God and putting Him first? Not just needing Him. But the Christian is defined as a person who also needs each other. So I'm going to talk to you about four different types of people. Listen close and see which one you are. All right, so we got the tough guy or gal. This is somebody who is cool and calm and always has it together. You like to serve others, but you don't like to be served. You like others to need you, but you don't like to need them. You like to keep it all together. And maybe you even keep the ones you love the most at a different, at a distance your husband, your wife, your kids, your best friends, cool, calm, and collected, but you don't need anyone. You're the tough guy. All right, so next we got person two, the non-committal type. Sometimes this can be me, I'm not gonna lie. You're kind of allergic to making commitments. Um, you like to have your options open, you like to have plans, but not be super committed in case you wanna go do something else at the last minute. Um, sometimes it's hard for people to rely on you, even though you really want to be relied on. There's a disconnect and yeah, it's just not great, not great. So person number three is the risk avoider. You don't like to stick your neck out. You're the type of person that says you can't get hurt if you don't try. If you don't try anything new, you can't fail. And so you don't really try or put yourself out there to build new relationships or do new things or dive in deep with anyone. You just don't like risk. You avoid it because you don't wanna get hurt and you're very guarded. So if you are not person one, two, or three, then you might be person four, the pretender. You could be dying on the inside and you won't let anyone know because you love to have this idea of you that you are just great and perfect and have it all together. And you're just, just put up that mask and you don't let people see the deeper side of you, the side that is broken and hurting and needy. You probably don't confess your sin and you probably don't have honest raw relationships maybe with like one person so whether you're person one two three or four there's all one common thread you feel like you got it on your own you don't really need other people maybe you rely on god and that's great but you're not really relying on the christians and the people and the body of christ that he's put in your life but we know that this isn't true this isn't a real characteristic that christians are supposed to be defined by for the body does not consist of one member, but of many. The eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you, nor again, the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Fearing God is believing him when he says that we need each other. Even though it's hard sometimes because we're all flawed, we're all humans that are, that are we, we sin, all right? We're gonna sin against each other. I'm gonna let you down. I probably let my friends down more times than I like. But at the end of the day, we are called to love and be open and vulnerable with one another in real confidence is saying, I am safe with you because this is God's greatest design. So reflect, are there people in your life who really know you? And I'm not just talking about on social media, whenever you're having an open and honest heart to heart talk, I'm talking about people who look you in the eye and know what your sin is, know what you're struggling with, know what you're afraid of, know what makes you frustrated or know what makes you so happy, would know what to buy you on your birthday and would be the perfect gift because they know who you are. Are there people that you keep it real with? There are so many ways that fear motivates us to keep people at a distance. You can know a thousand people and be known by no one. Proverbs tells us this. Reflect on your own heart. How are you personally tempted to push people away? And how have you been pushing people away? Are you the stoic cold type? Are you the scared risk avoider? Are you the non-committal type? Or what, what are you? What have you been doing? All right, so the action portion of today's video is actually my favorite one out of all of the 31 Day Devos. Today's action is if you are already in a church, 
get deeply committed with them. If you do not have a church that you are committed to, if you're looking around, that's fine. You know, you've been window shopping, you've been trying to find the right church that fits you, that's solid where you can grow, but at some point you have to pull the trigger and you have to be connected to a local body. So become a member somewhere, let people know you deeply, let them encourage you, let them love you, encourage them, know them, love them, and be joined as we learn in the scripture in 1 Corinthians, to the body of Christ in such a way that honors the Lord.